Hello again, it's Joan here with another Creativity Live, and I'll be hopping on Facebook pretty much every day during May at the same time, 9, 9 a.m. Mountain Time, to talk about the book The Artist Way and creativity and how to fit creativity in your life. And if you're wanting to take this to the next level, then definitely check out the, the program that I'm leading um, called Creativity Unleashed where we're gonna be walking through The Artist Way, um, that um, incredible book by Julia Cameron, June 3rd through August 26th. And the link is there, it's bit.ly forward slash CU summer 2019. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about today was, um, you know, I, I've done a lot of traveling and taken a year, a couple different times, and one of the things that when, when we were traveling, um, I always journaled. And when I journaled, I would do a sketch. So my kind of rule for myself and also for my kids when we were traveling is that every day um, to, do, uh, to write a few sentences and do a sketch. And the last time that I was doing that was when I was in Ghana in West Africa. And it, it really hit upon me that my sketching skills, even though I'd been doing it for so long, they just weren't adequate for what I was trying to convey. A lot of times I wasn't really able to convey it. And so um, a, a, another thing that I, I noticed was that this friend of mine would send these sketches from when she was in Morocco and I was really jealous of her sketches. Okay, so one of the things in working through the artist way is they say, if you are jealous, that is a teacher. So being jealous of somebody around the creative stuff, that's showing you that is something that you want to be able to do. So anyhow, my story of being in Ghana, doing my sketches every day, but not being happy with it, it kind of, my story just kind of ended there. I, I decided that the next time I did a big adventure, I wanted to be a better sketcher, but I, I never did anything about it. I, I saw that there's classes on how to do uh, pen and charcoal sketches or you know all these different things, but I never actually took the class. So when I um, picked up the book, The Artist's Way, again, a couple months ago, and um, my daughter and I and some other people were trying to get a group going. I started reading it again. I started listening to it again. And one of the basic ideas of the artist's way is that you don't have to wait to get creativity into your life. You don't have to wait for some perfect moment to happen before you can start doing those creative things that you want to do right now. And, and the other idea is that we, at the same time, I've been going through this, this 12 step program where around debt and seeing how you can live a life of deprivation and that creates this kind of scarcity mentality, this poverty mentality that you live in. And so you can do the same thing with creativity where you feel that you are, you are being very, um, you don't have time. You can't afford. So that was the question today is, can you afford to be creative? Can you afford to get that into your life? And I realized that in those 10 years when I was wanting to sketch, probably more than 10 years, but I never actually took the steps to do it, that I was, I just had told myself that I don't have time, that I don't have the time, the money, the wherewithal to figure it out. So as I've been reading and listening to the artist way I have it on audible and I just listen to it again and again <laughs> um, that I've realized yes I actually do I mean I can try it and so one of the things that I did was um, when I, I another thing with the artist way is they is she encourages you to take artist dates and so on my artist date the other day I went into the bookstore because I love bookstores. And so I was looking around and I found this book right here, 
which is called the Artist Complete Book of Drawing Projects. So it was $10 for this book. And what I liked about it is it's got like these step-by-step -step kind of drawing. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. It's got these like step-by-step -step drawing guides. So it's basically showing you that even if you don't know how to sketch, it's going to teach you. And I'm like, oh my God, why did I never think to do this before? Um, you know, so whether you want to do um, people or, you know, just, I guess my sketches in the past were more like these, I don't know if you can see these, these line sketches here, where I just kind of stopped with something like that. But this book is showing you how to take it to the next level and how to do it in phases, how to, to layer on the different shadows. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I never even knew, you know that saying where you don't know what you don't know? That's exactly what was going on with this is I didn't know how to, how to do these sketches. And so, so I, this was May 1st that I got that book and and I also picked up this um, journal which was also maybe another ten dollars so so for me to learn to sketch it has been twenty dollars and then it's also the time right and so I what I started doing was writing every day and in the artist way, there's something called morning pages. This is what I am doing right now is a little different. I'm writing about where I want to live and where I want to work. And so um, I'm doing that. And so that's what I'm, so I have a journal. So every day I'm writing, I'm writing affirmations. I'm writing, you know, what I want it to be, where I live, where I work. And then I'm also doing a little bit of drawing every day. So, you know, just going through this book. And so this was my first drawing of doing a sketch based in that, based out of that book. And you know what? I've never sketched anything <laughs> like that that had the, all the shading and stuff. Um, and like, even if when I, one day when I just had a couple of minutes, I just started doing a sketch of tennis shoes. Then a couple days later, so this was May 6th, it was a beautiful day, and I just sat down in the park, and there's an uh, apple tree in full bloom, and all I had was pencil and a few pens, so I did a sketch with that. Um, but I'm just, I'm not saying like my sketches are all amazing, I'm just saying that if you want to be able to afford creativity in your life, then, then you can. And okay, so this is all writing that I've done. This was another sketch. Like I was in a painting class the other day trying to figure out how to paint glass. And I didn't, I didn't know what she meant by where the light hits. And so just by following, this is a direct copy from what's in that, this um, artist book of drawing projects. But the idea is that you know, if you want to, to be able to do something creatively. So for me, what I'm finding is, okay, gosh, I'm able, I'm doing all this writing and I drew my coffee cup when I was at coffee the other day. Uh, and I think there's one more in here. Yeah. And then I just did this one last night. So in I don't know, maybe 30 minutes a day. And I spent a total of $20 to get these two things that I am suddenly working on this goal that I've had for 10 and actually more, probably forever. I've just wanted to be a better artist. And I didn't go to an art class and I didn't learn how to sketch. And I'll, I'll tell you also about another, a painting class that I started as well. Um, but I just wanted to share with you this idea that we can, and that's the idea of the book, The Artist's Way, we can afford creativity in our lives. We can aff afford the time for the, the classes, the time to practice. We can afford the materials and we, we can afford to have it in our life. We deserve to have creativity 
in our lives. And when we don't, then we're living kind of a life of deprivation. And so how does this relate to being an eco advocate? Well, this is huge because part of the reason that we have these environmental disasters happening happening around us is that we don't think that we can afford a better world we are using palm oil because it's cheaper and that palm oil is the reason that the the one of the key factors that the uh, the rainforests in indonesia are being wiped out and that is so that we can have cheap snacks. And, you know, that is, it's that deprivation thinking is directly related to our environmental crisis. The fact that we, that we don't think that we can afford food that's made without pesticides. Uh, we don't think that we can afford an energy efficient home. We just go with whatever is there. So at every step, we don't feel like our utilities can afford renewables because maybe they don't know how to do it or they have to replace something else. So it's that deprivation thinking and the lack of creativity that is at the root of our environmental problems. So the, the, the value of having creativity in your life means that, that we can live more in that state of abundance that is in harmony with our natural world. So I hope that you will join me every day here at 9 a.m. for Creativity Live. That's 9 a.m. Mountain Time during the month of May. But also to check out the, the course that where we're going to be working through the, the Artist Way book. And that's June 3rd through August 26th. We're going to be meeting online every Monday for a two hour session and each session we're going to be reading from the book a little bit. We'll do some creativity exercises and then we'll be sharing because each week you have exercises that you do. And so you can be sharing about what you're finding out and what you're, you know, what you're struggling with, what's going well, what, if you're having any breakthroughs. So it's going to be a really cool thing. And one of the reasons I did this is because um, you know, we had a group of us that were getting together and we said we were going to work through it and we just never did um, thoroughly. And so this is your chance if you've been wanting to do something more creative, maybe wanting to pick up that book of the artist way that's been sitting around. This is your chance to do that together in a supportive community. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a beautiful day. And remember, the time for action is now because there is no planet B. All right. See you soon. Bye.